There wasn't just one idea. Montana Western was in trouble because we did not have a niche. Uh, we were losing enrollment. I wanted to go back to Aboriginal learning, where faculty and students work collaboratively and experientially to solve problems in society. And I wanted to remove the lectern as the focus of education. I was pretty intrigued by the idea. I know it was brought forward to me by uh, some of the faculty who are very convincing faculty. I know Rob Thomas was the lead faculty member, but he also had uh, convinced many others that this would be a good idea for Western. It was an unusual concept, I think, for me and a lot of people here in town, because I guess when we all went to college, we did the regular type of curriculum, you know, four or five classes and so forth. We didn't really think that one class at a time was going to work. I was concerned. I, I thought it was a desperate move is the word that comes to mind. I just thought, have we fallen that far? How close are we to not having the college if that's what we have to do? When I first heard about Experience One, it was the buzz on campus. Um, as a local girl, I also was hearing a lot from the town who was very concerned about what might happen to Western if we made this brave new step. The implementation process was um, kind of an uphill battle. Um, the core group of faculty members um, figured out how they wanted to teach in this new way. And then they had to talk the entire faculty into uh, just trying this. My main probably contribution to X1 was the grant. Sheila wouldn't take no for an answer. And she came back again and again and again and again, and ultimately found grant money to create an alternative on campus so we could compare an alternative approach to our standard approach. We had known about Colorado College and their block scheduling. I went with uh, Rob Thomas and Sheila Roberts on a trip to Colorado College and was convinced there that this might be something that we'd want to look at uh, and see if it would work at Montana Western. It, it didn't take but one trip down there to realize the schedule works, but inside the schedule we've got to do something differently that supports this field experience. We ended up having to make a joint task force and Provost Carl Ulrich and I worked together and had daily meetings with a task force of people to start figuring out each and every little tiny detail. I, I look back, I don't know how we did it. The first year we did a lot of planning, um, trying to figure out who was gonna teach what and how the students were gonna inter interact with that. Um, the second year we had a group of 75 freshmen that we began with and uh, tried to figure out what courses they should be taking and how best to move them through that process. It was very um, an arduous task because it was completely different. Experience One is without a doubt one of the most exciting things happening in higher education in the United States today. We're the only public four-year institution offering experiential learning on the block schedule, one class at a time. Our enrollment has grown dramatically over the time period since we have adopted Experience One. If we look at the graduate school placements, uh, we're knocking it out of the park. We've stabilized the institution, which is very important to our community at large. The um, graduation rates have more than doubled. Uh, retention rates are higher than any other institution in the state. The single best model that we have right now in Montana, in our university system, for retaining and graduating our students exists around Experience One. With Experience One at Montana Western, students are coming here, they're doing something unique, they're doing something different, and more importantly, they're doing something that works. It's making them prepared for that next level and also making them successful in the long run. I think the implementation of Experience One has meant a complete paradigm shift in the community, in the university, and especially our students. Experience One block schedule, um, it's unbeatable. It's the best way to learn the material in your courses. It just makes everything so much simpler. I can't even begin to tell you how much more positive the feeling is 
at Western than it was many years ago. The diversity that it's brought to both the community and to the college is just amazing. Those students are going out of Western, leaving University of Montana Western, going on to the next progression in their life and they're well prepared for it, whatever it is. I realized that for this to have happened, there had to be leaders in every area of this campus. We can go in so many directions from here, but I think what we really need to do now is to share the story. There's a huge opportunity to spread the word. This has worked. Experience One has lent itself to international travel. It has lent itself to students learning through a hands-on approach. And anytime we can wrap all of those pieces together around predictability, around small class sizes, around hands-on learning, we're going to have a model for success. And that's exactly what they have at the University of Montana Western with Experience One.